Chandrayaan-3 is India's newly upgraded version of the previous moon mission that crash-landed on the moon in 2019. Chandrayaan-3 has more efficient pieces of equipment and new other technological changes than the earlier version. This new lander and rover will soft land on the moon, and this will be a huge milestone for India as a country, because landing on the moon for the second time, and it is going to launch on July 14th, 2023. So let's find out more about Chandrayaan-3. For centuries, the moon has held a special place in human culture and mythology. As the cool and calm observer in the sky, it has been attributed with a variety of qualities, from wisdom and knowledge to purity and enlightenment. Standing apart from the changing and unpredictable world below, the moon has been a consistent source of inspiration for generations past. The Indian Space Research Organization, ASRO, is the National Space Agency of India. ISRO is known for its cost-effective space missions, technological prowess, and pioneering efforts in the field of space research. It gained global recognition for successfully launching the Mars Orbiter mission, making India the first country to reach Mars orbit on its first attempt. Now the ISRO is preparing its new moon mission called Chandrayaan-3, which was an upgraded version of Chandrayaan-2. The Chandrayaan-2 mission was partially successful because its lander got a technical glitch that caused the lander to crash land on the moon's darkest side. What is Chandrayaan-3? Chandrayaan-3, as we said, will be a follow-up mission to Chandrayaan-2 with slighter new types of equipment. And this time, Chandrayaan-3 will do a soft landing and roving on the lunar surface. It will be launched by LVM-3 from SDSC Shah, Sriharikota. The propulsion module will carry the lander and rover configuration till the 100 kilometers lunar orbit. The propulsion module has a spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth-shaped payload to study the spectral and polarimetric measurements of Earth from the lunar orbit. According to ISRO, the Chandrayaan-3 lander and rover have been engineered to function for a single lunar daylight period, which roughly translates to about 14 Earth days. What are the payloads in Chandrayaan-3? So we first go to the lander number one, Chandra's surface thermophysical experiment, CHAST. It is used to measure the thermal conductivity and temperature. Number two, instrument for lunar seismic activity, ILSA, for measuring the seismicity around the landing site. Number three, Langmuir probe, LP, to estimate the plasma density and its variations. A passive laser retroreflector array from NASA is accommodated for lunar laser ranging studies. And the rover only contains two payloads, Alpha Particle X-ray Spectrometer, APXS, and Laser-Induced Breakdown Spectroscope, LIPS, for deriving the elemental composition in the vicinity of the landing site. What is the difference between Chandrayaan-2 and Chandrayaan-3? Number one, Chandrayaan-2 has only one camera in it and the Chandrayaan-3 has two cameras fitted in it. Number two, the newly launched mission is with lander hazard detection and avoidance cameras. And number three, the other difference is that the second model has nine inbuilt models, and the third model has just one instrument named as the spectropolarimetry of habitable planet Earth. Finally, number four, the third lunar exploration is made with a budget of 600 crores, which is very less costly than the second exploration. Where will be landing? Chandrayaan-3 is the 29th spacecraft to land on the moon's surface. It will, however, go where no spacecraft has gone before. Its lander module will land relatively close to the moon's south pole, around a latitude of about 70 degrees south of the lunar equator. The poles are placed at 90 degrees latitude. All previous spacecraft that have landed on the moon have done so in the equatorial zone, a few degrees north or south of the lunar equator. Surveyor 7, a NASA launch spacecraft that landed on the moon on January 10, 1968, was the furthest distant from the equator. This spaceship landed around latitude 40 degrees south. When will Chandrayaan-3 be launched? According to ISRO Chairman S. Somanath, the launch date is July 13th. It may even go up till July 19th. This mission will make India the fourth country in the world to achieve a soft landing on the moon after the US, Russia and China. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to this channel for more space related videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time. The game, win a life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way.